Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and thank you for joining me today in this very important video on do you know what ingredients, the five main ingredients that is, that you need to buy right now? And we're not talking canned goods here, folks. Now one thing I do ask you to bear with me on is I'm coming out of having a really bad head cold. Um, so if I sound a little off or a little nasally or whatever, I apologize. But I felt that it was very important for me to get this video out to you folks as soon as possible. And that's why I'm doing it right now. So just bear with me here. So do you know the five most important ingredients to buy right now. The five most important ingredients that will go a long ways that you can do a lot of different things with that you can use for your long-term food storage and have everything else to go along with it. Now, my long-term food storage, I'm talking five years or more plus. Most canned goods and stuff will last up to five years depending on what they are and how you store them and everything else. We're talking something that's going to supplement your food sources for you and your family in a time of an emergency. Lord only knows what the future holds. There is a perfect storm that has been brewing for some time. And it's only a matter of time before we're going to smack those waves, folks. So you got to get prepared. So the five things, the five ingredients that you need to make sure that you and your family will succeed in being well prepared are as followed. Now these are in no particular order, okay, there's not any particular order to this. Number one, rice. Rice is a staple that you can use and you can make uh, a million and one dishes with. But the thing of a rice is, you can survive on just rice if you had to. It's just one of those main staple type ingredients that you have to have. This way here, if all you have left is rice, you at least have something to eat. It's better than nothing. Number two is pastas. Now you can get all different types of pastas. You can store whatever kind of pasta you want. Okay? But if you store your pasta for long term, you can eat just pasta if you had to. If you have other things to go along with it, if you've been doing your preps and everything else, but just having pasta will be a great staple to have. Now, number three, flour. Now we all know that flour is used in many different dishes and cooking and baking and the whole nine yards. But did you also know that if you look back in history, go and Google this because you'll need to get the recipe, okay? You can make bread with just flour and water. They've been doing that since way back when. So this way here, you could always make bread even if you only had flour and water. May not be the best tasting thing you've ever ate, but it's something in your belly. And they've been eating it for thousands of years. Before they invented yeast and all these other stuff that they put in bread nowadays, it used to be made with just flour and water. A very basic combination. Number four, sugar. Now, sugar is very, very important because sugar you can use to sweeten things. You can use it to add to maybe your bread. You could add it to maybe your rice, make it a little sweet, um, those type of things. Also, say something happened and now you're having to forage for a lot of your different foods and things. Maybe you run across berries, wild strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, whatever. They grow everywhere, right? These are something you could pick and bring them back and if you have a little sugar. You can add the sugar to them and you can make either like a jam or something to put over, say, your rice, maybe even your pasta. If times are desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. 
you have to get creative. But having sugar to help sweeten things and everything else is another great way. And number five is probably one of the most important ingredients just because of what it does, and that'd be salt. Now, yes, you use that to flavor your foods and everything else, and you can, you know, there's a million and one things you can do with salt. You know, you can use salt for cleaning, you can use salt to do all different types of things, okay? But the main thing that I want to bring to you is, say you live by water, and times are really tough, and you've had to start fishing. Well, you catch these fish, now how are you going to preserve them? If you have salt, you can preserve your meats with salt and so that they will last longer this way here buying you more time to have a meat staple along with your rice your pastas if you make your bread you're not doing too bad here folks you follow me so if you are a hunter or you trap something whatever it may be and you don't eat everything right at that point in time and you need to preserve it the best way to do that is with salt and this way here you will maximize your energy your calorie intake and everything else because you're able to save and preserve the meat that you have caught whatever kind it may be now I'm going to throw a bonus one in here all right, just because I like them. But the bonus one, number six, is beans. Having beans and knowing how to cook your beans from a bean bean, not out of a can, folks. Like you buy your bags of beans and everything else, you have to know how to soak them, you have to know how to you know, cook them, and the whole other nine yards. But beans would also make this list. It was a, a pretty tight uh, little cutoff there. Um, but number six is a bonus I would throw out there would be beans of any kind that you really like. Make sure that you're buying these products. Now the reason you want to be buying these products is if you've been watching any of my videos, you've noticed every time I go to Walmart, the shelves are shrinking. All right, everything is shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. You know, I mean, it just, the, the aisles, they're getting smaller on the products that you and me want and the products that nobody wants, those are expanding way out into what? You know, I mean, you don't want any of that crap. You're looking for this and this and this. The last time that I went to Walmart, I couldn't even buy iodized salt. Wasn't even on this shelf. So it makes you wonder what's really going on out there with all these different shortages, with everything that's going on in this world. We have to be paying attention, folks. We have to start planning for the future. We have to start putting plans in place. And that's why I wanted to bring you this video today so that you and your family can be prepared. Do you know the five most important ingredients that you need to buy right now? You do now. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Hit the stores, start getting what you need, the five most important ingredients you need to buy right now. Pick up the bonus one. Somebody in the family will thank you for it. All right. Until next time, folks, you all stay safe. You keep prepping, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.